welcome back to another video. Last time you saw us, we were anchored in the beautiful Port of Owls that was equal parts fascinating and chaotic. Though the anchorage was quite stressful, we had plenty of time to explore the awesome caves above the surface and the treasures below. This week though, it's time to move on again as we head out for a 10 hour journey to Sola on the north coast. Hey, so we're on the move, quite a nice day, the seas aren't necessarily the most flat but we figured it was a good time to move. We've been ill the last few days and I'm starting to feel better but Jade's unfortunately caught it off me. We decided to do quite a long um, journey today, we're heading up to Sala which is about a 10-ish, well about a 9, 10-ish hour journey. Um, and obviously you're not supposed to really sail to a schedule if you can help it, but that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> My parents are coming to meet us in Parma on the 2nd of June, uh, 3rd of June. But we really, really wanted to go and see the north coast a little bit. Um, so we thought, let's just go while the, while the wind's good, let's just head straight up there. Let's spend a couple of days up here and then rush back down to Parma. <laughs> I said that, I know it's starting to die down again, which is hilarious. <laughs> we were just uh, sailing just on the head sail in about 18 knots of wind. Whee! But it's died down to about 12, 13. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. We're just about to sail past Island Dragonera, which I think is um, a pretty cool nature reserve. And they've got like, lizards and all sorts on there. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you can't anchor there. It's a mooring only. Um, and it won't be very protected. And I don't know how much it costs, but... Yeah, we're not stopping there, but it's cool to go past. Yeah. For anyone that wants to know what it's like so far sailing around Mallorca, in terms of the actual sailing, um, it's it's kind of been really good, but Spooky then winds. but then it's also been quite challenging. Uh, the winds are not consistent, or at least they haven't been. Um, each time we turn a corner, we get in a different direction a different wind speed, whether it's a gust, whether the wind just dies altogether. Um, so it can be challenging and I can see why people tend to motor. Uh, obviously we, we absolutely love sailing so any single opportunity we are trying to sail. Um, we've just had it go so like we rounded a headland about 45 minutes ago and it went from 8 knots of wind up to about 20, 22. Um, we were flying. Now, weirdly, the wind is dying back down to 9 knots. We'll see how much longer we can go like this before we have to switch our engine on, unfortunately.
my future home there. Just this. Just there. Just, just this. I don't need much. So we're in about 13, 14 knots of wind. Um, beam reach. I'm um, going along nicely. Hopefully this keeps up. It's uh, flattened out a bit now as well, so it's a bit more comfortable. Um, we, need to, we need to trim the sail. Why don't we have the minor? Oh, we just haven't put it up yet. That's like, we were going downwind, so... But now we're starting to head up, we could, could get the main out. So we are pretty much approaching the anchorage now in Sola and typically the weather was not what was forecast and we've pretty much motored for 10 hours yeah which is really 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 annoying um it was forecast to be like 15 knots I think on the beam and we've ended up with more or less z between zero and like three, three knots us. behind us or on the nose yeah, we've got there, so it's no big deal, but it makes it really difficult to passage plan. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how we would. I like, know. literally, the weather has been inaccurate yeah. in every sense that we've looked at, whether it's anchorages. Or, yeah, it's just unusual, really unusual, that the weather just doesn't seem quite right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to let Bryn do the talking to <laughs> survive, though. You will hopefully mm. survive. I'll survive. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we basically just crashed yesterday, recouped, and we were like, if we just get an early night, get some like good rest, we'll be better for tomorrow. It's not quite that way, but we're going to just get some fresh air now. Um, it looks beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning. Incredible. Looks like an incredible place. We should go and explore. I bought a hat, guys. It's a cute hat, though. I feel like I look so dumb. No. My, neck, my head was burning. I'm not a hat person. Do I look silly? Guys, tell us you don't look guys, silly. Guys, do I look silly? Come with the truth. I can take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to concentrate and I keep talking to him. <laughs> what do you think of Sala? It's beautiful. In the 
such a, it's an amazing place. It's peaceful, and it's even though it's I mean you can see how busy it is, but it feels quiet. Yeah. Like it actually feels quiet. It feels quite um what's exclusive. Yeah, it does. So we're actually going to come back here when my parents come next week um, and we're going to explore a bit more then so uh, we might take some more footage when we come back but we've had such a lovely day, it's absolutely beautiful here. But they're absolutely delicious. As beautiful as Sola was, there was a side that we didn't record. This anchorage was actually super stressful with boats dragging all over the place and getting extremely close. Part of us was sad to be leaving but also glad to be heading to the safety of a marina for a short while. It's got sugar. Yep. Perfect. Surprise, we are here in Palma. <laughs> we didn't actually film much of us getting to Palma and that was pretty much because we've both been really ill. And also, nothing happened we just kind of were recouping relaxing getting some energy and also it was a lot of motor sailing which is really boring to film anyway as we already mentioned my parents are going to spend a week with us which i'm so so excited I for can't wait. Um, they're actually on the way here right now they're on the <laughs> airplane to come here i'm so excited and it'll be quite interesting because obviously they're spending a week here so i'll be curious to see how they get on on our 28 foot boat for a whole week it's both of our birthdays this week so we're actually really excited to be spending that with your parents yeah. as well. And mine's the 7th of June, Brynn's is the 10th of June. Yeah. I don't know why I'm telling you this, I know you can't send us presents or cards, but... <laughs> <laughs> FYI, if you want to wish us happy birthday, that's our birthday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll show you guys what it's like here and look forward to exploring. We haven't, we haven't seen the city centre yet or anything, so lots to do, I think. And now we're just going to go pick mum and dad up. Thank you all so much for watching, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to tune in next week for some quality family time as we show two non-sailors what boat life is really about. So